What's up, what's up, and yes, Longview Lobos have won the state championship first time since 1937. And I was happy for them. I like, I know, you know, John Tyler fans, Lee fans, wherever, East Texas, you know, we, we go against each other during the season, but East Texas, man, they always say that, you know, the DFW schools are better. Houston schools is always those, but, you know, East Texas, we alone, we just the long wolves. In this, in this high school football thing, you know, it's pretty much the bigger, you know, we know we got the Carthages and the, uh, the long, uh, the Gilmers, you know, all those school, you know, they're, they're pretty much consistent in the four, like lower, but the bigger class of the classification, you know, 5A to 6A, you know, what we got, just Longview, Lee, John Tyler, Lufkin. And so, it's just great to see finally. Longview after losing to those uh those two years to uh what's that team late Travis and when they went down to five a well that was four a one of those and uh then last year when they just barely missed the state championship by a field goal you know they finally got it done I mean this team was just one that team they just they were just a great team. I mean, they've had mistakes and on during the season. You know, defense was kind of iffy, as you saw in the game this year, uh, today. You know, they, when we played, when they played us, they played John Tyler. You know, they kind of pretty much had their way most of the time. But JT still kept it competitive and everything. But you could tell that Longview was a great team. It was a, they were really good. You can see Jay could tell you because he was at the game that time, and their running game was always been that. What you know, it's just hard to stop. So. I just gotta say, wow! Congratulations to those dudes, man. Everybody from Longview and all that, I mean, man, finally won, and y'all still got a year left with King too. So, what can this team do next year? I mean, we know it's gonna be uh, tough for teams to repeat, but you know, you can see Highland Park they three peated, but you know, we're not gonna even get into that because we can. I kind of can give you a, a scenario and stuff of what really happened and why, like. That we don't even talk about that, but we, 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 you know, everybody from John Tyler, we know what I'm talking about. But, um, Longview did it, can't deny that referees couldn't deny it, nobody else could deny it. They come in and dominate it, perfect season. And all you can do is go up from here, I mean, hey, East Texas, man, we brought one back to East Texas, man. Shout out to all y'all Lobo fans and Lobo players. All y'all, uh, I had a few people in my stream who had some people who played for the team on there so that was I mean it was hey what a way to end this high school football season and end this uh no huddle podcast like I said man it's it's been a great year we John Tyler fell short but we know that that team's gonna be back next year we, it pretty much well, it's it's tough because it pretty much we're looking for the next two teams that that Highland Park beat it's pretty much was a that that game was the state championship. That was, that was pretty much the state championship, and they pretty much robbed it from us by a one holding call. But you know, next year, hopefully, I I I pretty much know next year this team keeps rolling. JT Tinger, they're gonna see Highland Park again, and I guarantee you, I'm saying it right here. Remember this: they will beat Highland Park next year in the playoffs. Mark that, mark my words. But this is right now, Longview getting the big win, man. So proud of y'all boys, man. Everybody in the, the dudes on the phone, but always y'all. I know y'all really happy about it because they've always been talking about this year after year, disappointment after disappointment, and everything. And they finally can just say they state champions. Like the form is not gonna be the same now because these guys are gonna never. We're, we're never gonna hear. We're never gonna not hear about this ever. So we just gotta get ready for it, you know. <laughs> JT fed every long lead, whatever. We gotta we gotta hear it from here on out. Now that they finally got a state championship in six A, which is really tough to do, but they did it. But uh hey, like I said, it's been a great season. So now we're officially gonna end the high school season and it's on a good note there. Even though like I said Things didn't work out for JT. We didn't get the chance to see. But East Texas, I mean, a, t- a town with Longview 20 minutes away, it's still a good feeling to see an East Texas team take it home. Because they, they were the long team from East Texas to take it home, if I'm not mistaken. So that's even better. 
in the, even in the biggest classification they took it home so yeah shout out to those lobos but with that being said we're gonna kick it off for next year and we'll see y'all longview lobos at rose stadium let's go